reason of this experiment is to see whether gluten grains or gluten-free grains make bigger bubbles and why. Gluten-free grains, we're hypothesizing, won't rise as high as gluten grains. Gluten grains should be rising higher because they have gluten that will hold on to the bubble. Gluten grains have risen much higher and for much longer than the gluten-free grains. The gluten-free grains are rising, but they are rising at slower rates and then they start cratering and stabilizing much faster. This is amazing for a couple reasons. Monitoring the heights of the same flower types with a single type of yeast over time, if the rise patterns are the same as the rise patterns that we detected in the original like naturally leavened wild sourdough starters, then that indicates that it is a nutritional or a gluten difference in those flowers. Everyone is making carbon dioxide and those four gluten-free flowers don't have a network to capture the carbon dioxide in a balloon. 